Several factors led to the decision today for Julius Randle to have surgery on his dislocated shoulder. One is the stability of that shoulder. Randle, as you know, had been trying to rehab for the past two months and get back on the court with this Knicks team, but it was determined that the stability of their shoulder couldn't get to a place where he would be effective on the court and safe on the court. It would have been a big risk for him to get back out there. He could have dislocated the shoulder again, and there was also a fear that maybe he does permanent damage to that shoulder if he comes back and plays with the way things were. Now, Randall had done well in his rehab early on, first few weeks, and he got to a place where he was doing everything but being cleared for full contact in scrimmages. And he had been at that point for several weeks just kind of waiting to be cleared, but the shoulder never got to a place where uh, everybody involved was comfortable with him getting back on the practice court taking full contact, and I'm told that Randall is just devastated that he could not make it all the way back. He really wanted to get back with this Nick team, in particular because he saw how good the club was going with OG Ananobi, the club uh, having a huge January after the Ananobi trade. Randall seeing that this team really had a chance to do something significant. He, he put his all into trying to get back on the court, similar to last year's playoffs when he came back on that injured ankle and played in the Cleveland series and in the Miami series. He was advised not to come back then. Uh, he decided to come back, obviously wanted to come back this time, but really couldn't go against the medical advice that the Knicks were hearing, that he was hearing. So he will undergo surgery. He will not be back with the Knicks. And now the Knicks wait to hear on OG Ananobi and the medical people involved there taking a conservative approach with Ananobi. Uh, I don't know if he has been cleared to do everything yet. Once he gets cleared to do everything, I'm told he has to still get through several hurdles before being cleared to get back on the court. So it's a wait-and-see situation there. But the Knicks do have a definitive answer on Julius Randle. He will not be back this season, and he will undergo shoulder surgery to repair that dislocated shoulder.